Restored behavior, or the restoration of behavior, is treating ordinary life behaviors as if they were film strips that you take, retake, and edit. It supposes that there is no real first time to any behavior, that every behavior we do, whether it is making a film like I'm now doing, or you walking down the street, or performing in a play, is con made up of other behaviors that are rearranged, re-emphasized, and reassembled. Perform behavior, therefore, or restoration of be behavior, therefore, is never for the first time. It's for the second to the nth time. It exists paradoxically in the space between a denial and the denial of a denial. For example, Laurence Olivier is not Hamlet. We know the actor. We know the role. But Laurence Olivier is not not Hamlet also, because while he is on stage, we presume him to be Hamlet. He has absorbed Hamlet. He broadcasts Hamlet. He performs Hamlet. Hamlet as a character, exists in that space between who Laurence Olivier is not and who Laurence Olivier is not not, in other words, whom he is creating. I like this uh, negative approach because it is extremely creative. It's close to what Grotowski described as the via negativa, that if you take something away, you f invite people to make creative choices in what is possible. If you once you settle on something, you're settled, you're finished. So restored behavior is treating life as an open possibility of making and remaking who we are, what we do. It can be applied to all kinds of behavior, aesthetic behavior as in theater, dance, and music, but also behavior in everyday life, also, of course, play and ritual.